The following story contains scenes that may disturb sensitive viewers. It's not suitable for children. It was another brazen shooting in full view of bystanders on a busy Durban street. The murder of rapper Keenan Forbes, popularly known as AKA and his friend Dibel Lomotswane, was shocking on many levels. It again highlighted the appalling levels of gun crime in our country, but also the extent to which the people pulling the trigger believe they'll get away with it. Bongani visits the scene of the shooting and speaks to Dibelo's parents. When it comes to hip hop music, this is what I do. It's in my blood, it's in my bones. It's just who I am, it's the way I walk, it's the way I talk, it's the way I dress. Renowned rapper Keenan Forbes, publicly known as AKA, has been shot and killed. Sing of award-winning local rapper AKA. Condolences are pouring in following the death of South African rapper Keenan Forbes, also known as AKA. It's just before 10 on a Friday night on Durban's busy Florida road. A raucous dinner is coming to an end. Among the group of friends is rapper Keenan Forbes, better known as AKA. Moments later, as the friends leave the restaurant, Forbes embraces one of them. It's clear they're close. While across the road, a lone figure casually makes his way towards the group. For a moment, traffic obscures him, and he disappears from view for six seconds. Then, as AKA shares one last handshake, the man rushes up and at close range points a gun to his head and fires. He dies instantly. Then a second gunman fires wildly in the same direction, wounding AKA's bodyguard. And another of the friends is also hit. The assailants disappear into the night. Well, we actually received the, the case as, a, as an accident on Florida Road. On our arrival, there are a whole different ball game uh, shooting. Two guys got shot. Um, Wayne Killian was a first responder on the scene. The scene was very chaotic. It was overcrowded. We saw a blood trail. His partner, Rishi Ramburan, attended so to the second victim. We suspect that the person was shot there and started running and then she was running blood loss. Yeah. Yeah, it just like lost, felt weak, fell down. His friend had a single gun shot to left side chest. LOC was dropping as we got to him. We started treating, stopped breathing, we did a recess, and yeah, eventually we declared him on scene as passed there. Yeah. It was the friend AKA had warmly hugged moments earlier. His confidant, Dibelo Tibbs Mutsuai. We had a plan that we are going to go out and have a meal together because this year we hadn't had a meal together. And he said, no, I'll come on another time. I'll arrange with you maybe next Sunday. But next Sunday never came. Debelo's elderly parents, Sylvester and Rahab, last saw their only child a week before his brutal murder. We came together, hold, held hands tight, and I told her, I said, your son is no more. Say what? What I'm saying? Your son is no more. May, how do you receive such, such news? Your son is no more. I felt numb. I couldn't cry. Feeling of disbelief. No, it can't happen to Tibel. That was the beginning of, of my misery. In the late 2000s, Debello became known as the original hitmaker, the man who discovered AKA, forever changing the face of the local hip hop scene. He would later transition from making music to making food, becoming a celebrated chef. And as their stars rose, Tibbs and AKA remained close friends. And yet, these old friends hadn't planned to be at the same Florida Road restaurant. Do we know that he's been friends with a K AKA for ages? But that day, I don't think he knew that he was going to meet AKA. 
he just was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Catch me tonight, we had you go, baby. AKA was in town for a performance at a local club. Dibello to celebrate a friend's 40th birthday. A fateful start to a night that would end in horror. It's quiet now, but on any Friday night, this place is buzzing with patrons, which is part of the hectic Durban night scene. The assailants shot their victims right here, and they ran across the street, going past that mobile police station, and they disappeared into the night, and nobody pursued them. Based on your experience, was this a hit? The fact that it happened so often in Durban that I presume it was a hit, yeah. This is fairly common for you. Especially Durban, yeah. Drive-by shootings and it happens a lot. And uh, sometimes the, pub, the public doesn't even know about it. Or the media. The crime scene, now returning to normal, still bears the scars of the frenzied attack. Marks on the walls where bullets must have ricocheted certainly the hallmarks of a hit and in kzn fingers generally point to much feared and faceless contract killers called ingadi definitely it was a hit and uh, it was a professional hit watch this guy watch them watch him stretch he's looking he looks back sean pierce is one of durban's leading private investigators the guys were in and out in seconds shots fired bodyguards didn't even have a chance to react commotion going hitman gone well planned, well thought out, executed very well. Are we seeing this all over the country or more specifically here in KZN? The statistics for KZN hitmen are big because you can go to a hostel and get a hitman. Whether it's a 5,000 hit or a 500,000 rand hit, there's still planning and consequences to this. It boils down to greed, corruption, turf wars, gang wars, but there's just no uh, accountability for it. It just keeps happening. But why would an entertainer, a rapper, be gunned down in cold blood? Well, AKA isn't the first. Other musicians have suffered similar fates. Ama piano producer DJ Somebody was murdered in Woodmead, Johannesburg in November last year. Joan Bande is an entertainment journalist. I think if we think back to DJ Somebody's killing, the conversations around that, especially at the memorial, if I can recall, was that he was a club owner and it seems there was a trend of killings in Pretoria of club owners. So that was how people went, maybe, okay, there's jealousy going on. But with AKA, as we know him, he was just purely a musician from what we know. Then in January, another musician, Vusi Ma'art 5, was gunned down in Soshanguve outside Pretoria. The motives unclear, police say they're still following leads. A lot of artists and public figures right now in South Africa are very much alarmed by the recent incident. I think uh, more especially musicians, uh, since they are the ones that are being uh, gunned down. A letter issued just this week by the National Prosecuting Authority has further muddied the waters and given rise to unhelpful speculation into the motives for AKA's murder. It says the NPA had declined to prosecute anyone in relation to the mysterious April 2021 death of the rapper's then fiance Anele Tembe. It's long been speculated that the couple had argued that day, and the NPA's letter has further fueled public debate about why AKA was killed. At a media briefing this week, though, his father called for an end to the speculation. We do not condone what's been said about his friends and those making dangerous statements and the appeal for them to cease from doing so. Meanwhile, Anela's father, businessman Moses Tembe, issued a statement denying any suggestion of involvement in AKA's death. He says such accusations are untrue and without substance. More than a week after the murders in plain sight, police have made no arrests but say they're following potential leads. We have not arrested anyone yet. Um, we have, however, uh, interviewed a number of people. 
Thousands of people attended memorial services for the slain men this week, taking no comfort in knowing that as they mourned, the killers remain at large. I consider myself blessed for all the time that we were given. I wish you strength, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for talking to us. Thanks for watching. Why not drop us a comment below? We love reading your opinions. Remember, you can now access Carte Blanche stories anytime, anywhere, even offline. Carte Blanche, the podcast, is now available on all major podcast platforms. So be sure to hit that follow or subscribe button and be part of our growing online family.